inside winemaking and in this short video we're going to show you how we do a basic pump over. So we have the tank with grapes, in this case it's Petit Verdot. This has just begun fermentation and so we're going to splash it and give it some, give the yeast some oxygen during this pump over. So the juice will, the fermenting juice will come out of the bottom part of the valve through the seed screen in the tub down to the pump and be pumped back over the top and we have a, an irrigation device called a toad just spreading that juice over the top of the grapes inside the tank. So here we go. So this screen inside of the tub is a slotted screen that allows the liquid to pass through but catches any grapes, any solids, because we don't want those going through the pump. So we open the valve and let it go. Really nice color on this petite Verdot. It's been in tank about seven days now. It's uh, wild fermentation, which means we did not add any yeast, we're just letting it do its own fermentation. So you can see juices, the fermenting juice is coming out now through this screen, which then feeds through the hose to the pump and back up to the top of the tank. Now if we open this valve a little bit more, you can see some of the berries that are coming through. Open this all the way up, some of the berries are coming through now. We don't send these berries through a crusher, so we have whole berries. Uh, berries never go through a crusher or a pump, so they look like uh, intact, full blueberries at this point. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this back down. We don't want too many berries coming through, just the fermenting wine. And that's it. This is the device that was inside the tank, so the wine was flowing up through the hoses, through this, and then through this. This is called the toad. I don't know why, it's just one of those things, all winery, winery equipment has special names. But as the, the wine flows through here, this spins and spreads the wine evenly over the grapes which are inside the tank. So I'm going to shoot just a little water through so you can see this is what would be happening inside the tank. And then, with enough pressure which we have with the, the pump and the wine, that spins spreads juice evenly over the grapes.